Hello everybody, welcome to Minutes with PJ. Today's day is November 20th, 2016. It is a Sunday, and our word for discussion is soap. In Jeremiah 2.22, No amount of soap or lye can make you clean. You are strained with guilt and cannot ever be washed away. I see it always before me, the Lord God says. In Job 9.30-31, If I should wash myself with snow and cleanse my hands with lye, yet you would plunge me into the pit, and my clothes would be a pure me. Malachi 3.2 But who can endure the day of his coming? And who can stand when he appears? For he is like a refiner's fire, and like fuller's soul. In Hebrews 12:28 and 29, wherefore we receiving a kingdom which cannot be moved, let us have grace whereby we may serve God acceptably with reverence and godly fear, for our God is a consuming fire. In 1 John 1, 7, if we say that we have fellowship with Him and walk in darkness, we lie and do not tell the truth. But if we walk in the light as he himself is the light, we have fellowship with one another. And the blood of Jesus, his son, cleanses us from all sin. This word defined in the Bible, it's a Hebrew term, berith, and it's a general term for any substance of cleansing qualities. Here it is, an acronym for soap stands for scripture, observation, application, and prayer. It is a way of getting more out of your time in God's word. We have been washed clean of sin through the blood of Jesus. It is by God's love and mercy that he sent his son Jesus into the world. By his grace we are cleansed and made clean. All are brought out of darkness to the light through Jesus who cleanses us of our sins with his blood. Once you think about this today, have a blessed day.